Alrighty, so before this video begins, I just want to add that um, tomorrow is an election in America and it's pretty big and I want you guys to vote if you can, no matter who you're voting for. Just like it's important to vote and get your civic duty out there. So please vote if you can. It would make me happy. <laughs> I don't know. You get a free sticker too if you vote. Like cool. It's like an I voted sticker. It's like nice. I got a sticker. Let's go. But it's important to do that. Get your voice out there and then um, yeah, it like, decides the direction of the country in the future which is cool. So, do that. Alrighty, so today we're doing some R3 Speed Bonanza. We're gonna pop right here, and today our goal is to play our best and just dominate, all right? We're gonna try and see if we can get a nice win streak in R3 Speed Bonanza, all right? So, um, basically, we're just gonna, how about, like, we can play until we lose, I guess, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add extra games onto a video that's kind of short in case I lose early, so you can't tell if I won or lost by looking at the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add extra footage at the end of a video in case I lose early, so you can't tell if I won or lost early, all right? So it's more intense that way, you know? You don't know if I won or lost. So we're chilling with this. This is gonna go late game. Who, you wanna do this? Let's go, all right. So we got Dart Farm Ace with the cannon. That is a really nice support tower here. We're gonna go for the Dart Monkey right here. There we go. Go for the Triple Dart, and we'll just be equaling. We do have Knockout here, so we gotta be a little careful here, but I th I'd say we just wait till round 32. Not even round 32, actually. Maybe round 33. I don't know. We got to think here because Ace is really solid. If you can ground zero correctly, you can defend the stuff. But I think I still think we're going to go all out around 32 because even if you can defend and stuff, it, you do like slow. It does slowly ramp up and it's good to get them going. Um, so we'll try and do that. The problem is we don't have enough money. Like R3 Speed Nanza is a thing where like with farms, you have plenty of money. You have infinite money essentially. But with Bonanza, even with Bonanza one here, even if we go for like, you know, 7,000 eco and stuff, we still are at a loss here because ground zero is pretty expensive. Because sending ZOMGs, 10,000, uh, if we send 10 ZOMGs, boom, that's 100,000. Like that takes takes some stuff up. Um, all right, I don't know what to do. Let's go for, I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go for the jugs like really early here. Do that. <laughs> the weirdest jug spot of all time. That's not that bad of a jug spot there, but we'll get that there that'll hop out a little bit, especially against yellows and stuff. And then we're going to send yellows here. And I think we're going to try and catch them off guard here. Because knockout's not going to be too important late game. So we're going to try something here. So do this. Knockout. How's that? Just for fun. Just see if it does anything. They got a moment spike ball in the back. And look, we're delaying their eco. You know, it's being we're being kind of silly. They're not going to lose to that. They have a spike storm. So they'll do that if they need to. They're going for a can, which is a good play. Actually, we should place down a 0-0 zero, zero can so we can upgrade it. Probably. We really gotta do what to watch out for knockout, my goodness. And I think the, the plan here is gonna be dark, because when you go for like an ace, ace is very concentrated on one tower, you know? They can knock it out easily. But if you do like Dark Monkey, your defense is spread around multiple things, so you're okay. Do that. Do that, we're good. That should defend. We don't have a lot of money here, actually. Neek, we leak down a little bit, that's okay. Um, wow, knockout's crazy. They say nice. Um, I'm gonna go for. Do we go for two of these? We can just buy and sell it. That's the thing. So we'll be fine. And we also have a spike storm if we need to. Go for multiple jugs here. We actually don't have a lot of money. Hmm. I'm just worried about all at camos. That'll be a little sketch. But we have we have a spike storm if we need to. So we're gonna go for that. And if they're not ready for all at camos, I will rush them probably. That's good, I guess. I'll be equaling now. Because we can spike storm this first rush here if they bloom boost anything. Are they still equaling though? That's the question. And it doesn't look like they are. Let's see. I'm going to sell this. Are, are they equaling? They're not equaling. Which tells me that they're saving up money for an all out a, a giant camera rush. So. Now we're good. Now we can sell for a fan club. Okay, they're equaling now. We're chilling. This is gonna go late game here. There's no use in really rushing them. Let's we'll just hold on the button and just chill. You know, we're relaxing. It's a beautiful day. Great. They're bloom boosting some stuff. So, what are they doing? I don't. I can't think of a single thing. Maybe ceramics. But fan club. There we go. Buy and sell. If you're not quick to buy and sell, it's a little sketch. But with the buy and sell, we are a okay. So we got that up. We are chilling, and we should have a small eco lead here. And we definitely, they, I don't know how many Bloomers they've used, but they've used, like, at least two. Um, we've used one knockout here. They've used two knockouts. So we definitely have a slight advantage here. We should be able to win this game um, with the current things. They might have a slightly higher eco because we stopped the ecoing for a little bit. I don't know. 
we're just chilling. We're just relaxing. And we can ground, we can sell for the ground zero at this point. So we can rush with anything. So we're just going to chill in eco. They're going to be eco as well. And maybe like round 27, we're going to start to get up stuff. And then round 32, we're going to all out with ZOMGs, I think. See, we've been ecoing this entire time here. And like $60,000 is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But six ZOMGs, I think they could defend six ZOMGs. Like it's kind of tricky. So we'll see. Um, I don't really know. So they're going for the stuff in advance here. Um, I'm going to eco a little bit. I'm going to go until like round 27. What's our defense going to look like here? Um, I guess that would be better. Like what they're doing with the cannon. Cannon's really solid here. So I think we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to keep our fan club up though. And we're going to keep our fan club set on strong, I think. Um, and then we'll go for a bunch of cluster ones on the back. We'll go for a specter, of course. And yeah, I just, it's hard because we need money to rush and defend at the same time here. So it's important. What we can do is like, we could go for a defense right now, or we could go for a higher eco and then have our eco going as we get a more defense. So the later, like the more we can eco, the better here. So we're going to wait round 27 here. We're going to go 8,500 because that's a cool number. And now we're gonna stop here and start to go for some defense. So, um, I wanna keep up these jugs. I don't know why not. Okay, go for this. And then we're gonna go for a cluster bombs right here. This is gonna try and clutch any ceramics that are sneaking through. Come on. We don't want tower boost, unfortunately. Do this, we'll fan club. And I'm gonna set all these on strong if we can. Strong, 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 strong. And then. We do need stuff on first to help pop the Moabs and stuff, but it's going to be mostly ground zeros and stuff. So we're going to go for, I guess they're go, what they're doing going for the right side is might be the best play, honestly, because that's the Moab Assassin's a little strong and the ability doesn't, like you can use it, but then it has to come back. Let's go for this. How many Spectres we're going to go for? I might go for a few more. Do we rush at the beginning of round 32? Because I feel like if we if we fan club, we have a really good defense here. I think we could try and defend. So I'm going to wait till round 35. I'm going to wait. Yeah, we're going to wait. And if they rush us and we don't defend, then that's that's on me. That's when we lose. So when do we wait? I'm going to wait till round 34, actually. And if we're the first ones to rush, that can make a huge difference here. Because it ramps up really quickly here. And if, if we can get their abilities out of the way, too, that'd be cool. So let's do that. Here it goes, nothing. This is about to get crazy. We also need to ground zero at the same time as we're rushing them. All right, so I'm probably not gonna talk too much here. We're chilling, we're still getting more cash here, that's fine. They're upgrading theirs. If they're upgrading, they're gonna be caught off guard here. Oh, here's the BFBs, so that signifies that another round. Went for one more, we're chill. Boom, there's that. Good luck. So we're going to spike storm early. We're going to fan club. We're going to use our abilities here. We're going to keep rushing them and we're going to start ground zero. And ground zero is going to be the play. Yeah, that's why you rush early. It ramps up so quickly. Like we didn't even ground zero. I think we would have lost to those with all the defense that we had. Crazy. GG right there to iTrooper. We got iPlay powers here. How you doing? Oh yeah. So I want to tell a Halloween joke because it's. I know it's November already as you're watching this probably. But like, I don't know. Like I missed out and I wanted to say this joke. So um, where do ghosts play BTD battles? Rainbow ruins. <laughs> all right, we got. All right, they skipped that. Area fifty-two. We got farms, which is beautiful. Who? Who let the dogs out? Okay, let's do this. I like this. So this is gonna come down to defense. So there's a really cool play that I love doing with farms, and that's not going for. Wow, nice bloom boost stuff. Okay. Um, that's not going for for as much farms as you need to. Filling the screen of farms is really cool, but it's not worth it when you have 50K that you can't even spend. And so we're gonna use the blade, um, we're gonna try and go for farms here, but then maybe, I think we're still gonna all out Moab ZMGs here, cause it's gonna be pretty brutal. So we're gonna put glue gunners all over the map then fill the screen with um, ninjas, get a bunch of ninja stalls. Um, then we're gonna all out ZMGs, cause I think it'll work. If ZMGs, if we see the ZMGs that it's not working, then oh well, but I think it will work, especially cause there's no tower boost here. It is double stall though. So let's go for, try and keep it this farmly here. We're basically with them. They're basically with us. Do this, try and force some stuff. They're, oh, they're exploding mega pineapples with the greed. Genius, genius, genius. Really nice job by them. Okay, we forced a little bit of upgrade. I wanna force upgrades. We're okay, we're, we caught up in farms a little bit. We're gonna do double shot. We got the same thing up. They got a far lead now, which we do not like. Farm is not the worst thing in the world, especially in this mode, but like, it's still like unfortunate. You don't want 
it's unpreferable, you know? All right. They're gonna rush us a little bit. We'll pine, I think we can pineapples this. No, we can't. Chillin'. We're gonna do the same thing here. Oh, Red is the one for the farm. It's not gonna be easy. They might have to sell a farm here, maybe. They're getting a lot of stuff, they're pineappling. Who? Oh! Careful. Dang, nice play. All right, that's fine. So we're a little behind right now, that's okay. Lead, I don't know why I said a lead, they can pineapple it. <laughs> pineapple, they did the same thing. Yeah. Pineapple. Pineapples are so fun, exploding mega pineapples. Yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna go for glue gunner down here. And we're gonna do this, we're gonna set you on strong. Now, something that's really dangerous right now, I think we both know what it is, is all out Moabs. So, something that I've heard is put your flash bomb to the side here, so because the flash bomb could cause things to regrow. So, we're gonna do that. We'll be fine here with the glue gunner. But all out camos? Ho ho! You, my friend. Good luck. They stopped rushing us. Let's keep rushing them. Can we set layer lead in there? We're going kind of all out here. Let's use this. We got him? Yeah, there we go. So sometimes they have to go for it, but sometimes they defend that. If they defended that right there, we would it would have been really bad because we fell behind in farms big time right there. So GG to iPlay Powers right there. This guy's pretty good. I'm going to go one more time. But cool, we're two wins in right here. A two win streak. <laughs> and then let's try and turn it to three win streak here. Do we get farms again? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Oh, this would be crazy. I honestly genuinely think this would go like round 32. Because <laughs> sub is so powerful. If you first strike correctly, you got to micro the first strike. And it's hard to do that while aiming the darling. So that would have been a really tricky thing. So I'm kind of glad they skipped that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. We got offside again. All right. Let's check off here. Who? Okay. So this is going to come down to... I don't know. With the ninja stall and mortar stall, can we defend all its EMGs? And I'm going to say maybe. All of BFP is 100%. We got it. In the bag. Easy. We're done. Um, we need to watch out for pink balloons we'll send them a few pinks honestly this is really similar to the loadout from before okay do that we're chilling force the ninja okay so now we're just gonna full send blues here they might send us a few stuff and in that case we'll get at the ninja so boom two one should clean up nicely and now we're relaxing here um so how's this gonna end here i think do we go for all i can i think cannon's gonna be better mode pump out here so i'm gonna say with the mortar stall and the ninja stall, we don't have tower boost though. If we had a tower boost, I definitely would. But that's a question. Do we all out them with, with ZOMGs? And I'm going to say no. And we're going to rush them all out. We're just going to get up a bunch of defense. Do we do we wait till like round 27 or something? Or do we wait till like round 32? I'm going to try and wait till round 32. I'm going to say we can defend this. With the ninja stall, with the mortar stall, with if we get up a bunch of cans, if we get a ton of eco here, and I mean a ton, a ton of eco, we gotta go for a really nice eco here. We're gonna go for that. <laughs> That'll defend. Come on. We're chilling. We're gonna send them this. We should have been sending yellows. What the heck? We're doing fine now. We might be able to force a little bit of stuff here. Mortar's doing a pretty nice job here. Come on. Yeah, we're forcing a little bit of upgrades. That's awesome. Okay. So for the we do have a balloon boost here, so we gotta be a little careful against camos here. So I'm gonna go for... Honestly, we got a glue storm on giant camera stuff. So I'm only gonna go for a single flare. Eek. Come on, don't leak down. We're gonna hold off here for a second. I'm gonna go here. Go for a nice single flare. And that should defend most things here. That should defend most things. Like, I, like and we have glue storm if we really need to. So, and glue storm, we're not gonna use late game. So I'm fine with equing right now if they rush me. Rush me 100%. Feel free to do it. They're not ecoing, which is perfect for us. We're getting ahead in eco now. All right. Not a good time, but let's check if we recording. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think I'm having a change of heart now. Just the fact that we don't have farms here it means we're going to have way less money to defend and rush. So we're going to put all our resources into rushing. We're going to keep one mortar stall, one ninja stall, and just try and, try and hold out here. Then we're going to try and... um. 
We're going to try and rush them with all the TMGs here. And if they defend, they win the game. All right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So all the TMGs on round 22. Maybe one ZMG in round 21. It's just difficult because we rush them and they counter rush. We can kind of... It's going to be a struggle here. They're rushing us a bit. We'll be fine. Go for this. We're going to go for you. We're going to mortar stall if we need to. And we are going to chill because we are chill on the hill. That wasn't a bad rush necessarily, but they wasted all that money. It was a really easy defend. I'd say if I was not focusing off my game, it could have done something. But nah, it was a really easy defend for us. We just um, pulled in money big time. It's just making the right call. Do we want to defend all our TMGs or... I don't know. So we got round 19 here. Do we rush with one ZMG here? I think with uh, Moab Assassin, we'll be fine. So, yeah, let's do all ZMG. So, we're going to eco until round 21. Uh, round 21, we're going to send one spaced cooldown ZMG here. Then we're going to use... Uh, round 20, we're going to use our one of our eco powers here to stop delay their eco. And then we're going to all out ZMG rush with the balloon boost on round 22 here. So, let's do that. There we go. Because we got to use both of those here. Does anybody think it's going late game here? I don't think we can defend. ZMGs get super strong, so yeah. <laughs> or they, I did this. Are super strong, so round twenty-one. We'll do. The, we're doing exactly what we said here. They're going for a ninja stall up there. Not a bad play. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go for. Do they know we're gonna rush? I don't know. We'll go for two here. We got the ninja stall up. I'd say this is all I need. I'm fine with this. We're gonna use this. Delay their eco. Do we eco even more here? They're using their eco nerf finally. There's a ZMG. Enjoy. And round 22's. Boom. Boom. We can only send five though. We're so low on money. Ho ho. Let's ninja stall in case they counter rush early. So that stuff is stalled. If they defend this, they win. So we're, we're chilling. Let's not. Let's just, let's just defend. I want to ninja stall constantly to have things ninja stalled. But look at that. That looks brutal. I think with the cannon, they might have been able to defend and the ninja stall. But yeah, good. Good call by us. All right. And so they probably should surrender. Maybe they can defend. They might be able to defend if they clutch it. Like, hmm. I don't want to lose. Well, I don't want to sell anything and lose an exit. So if they defend that, they defend that. We could maybe send one more ZMG if you're like. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. With a lot of ZMG, and that's why with farms, it's a little, it's a bit of a, it's a different game. Because then there's more rushes, but more defense at the same time. Are they going to defend that? No, they're not. There's a ZMG right there. Who? This is a cl really close game here, though. They nearly defended that right there. GG to I play powers. This guy's pretty good. All right, but we did take him down right here. What's our win streak? Does it count if we win streak? Because, like, we can just rematch, like, someone who's not that experienced over and over again and, like, destroy them and then count that as a win streak. So I don't want to rematch too much here. So they left. We're doing some more R3 Speed Bonanza. And, yeah, GG. Now let's pretend they counter rushed with one ZMG right at the start. They rushed right at the start. We would have mortar stalled a lot and hopefully defended. That's what we would have done. That probably would have been the best play. We got Kat here with a smiley face. Hey, Kat, what's up? Aw. All right. We're going to send them a smile because this, this is just this is just nice. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, similar thing here. We're going to skip this because this is kind of lame. Please skip it. Yo, look at these teeth. They're so white. Got to brush those teeth, people. Especially after Halloween. There's a lot of candy. Brush your teeth. Eek. Okay. Um, come on, cat. You know, skip it. I think they're going to skip it because I don't want it either. Fine. Fine. <laughs> All right. Water hazard here. Um, ooh, late game. We doing this? So glue go glue is gonna bring this late game, but also the first strike. We don't have a lot of money here though. Hmm. Okay, is Cat AFK or something? Come on, they're not responding to any of the modes and they're not doing anything. Come on. They might be AFK here. We're gonna rush them right off the bat here, of course. <laughs> I think Cat's AFK. How do you? Okay, no, they're not. <laughs> that would have been funny though. Oh, we'll go for you up here. There we go. That's not a bad spot where they are, by the way, because that'll allow them to like um in the most amount of subs here we are gonna go late game here um subs gonna defend everything if you buy and sell the first strike here we do have budget balloons but all tmgs aren't gonna do anything uh we sent blues a little late there that's not a good play but our goal is to send just go, take it as late as we can here so we're not to get late we're gonna wait until round i don't know if we wait till round 32 to rush because first strike is really solid i'd say ace you rush on round 32 but with sub we do the glue gunner here i think we're gonna all out them in round 32 yeah, and we have budget blooms, which is going to allow us to send a lot more. So we'll do that. We're going to try and save all our powers here. We're going to try not to leak down. 
Um, and we want to go for the extra eco. So we're going to go for this sub, this this thing right here. There we go. We'll go for this. I'm going to start sending greens here. Go for you. And that'll help out a bunch. So we want to go for this extra eco here, this monkey town here if we can. Come on. Oh, we delayed our eco a little bit right there by going for that thing. That's fine. They're going for the glue gunner nice and early here. They stopped ecoing a little bit. It's, it's basically chill right now. Like, even if I'm behind by, like, a thousand eco, it's not going to make too much of a difference in the long run here. Yo, a little sketch right here. Yeet, come on. There we go. We're chilling. Uh, I'm going to continue to eco a little bit more. Let's go to 1,500 here. And then we're going to get up our mid-game defense. We're going to get up our... Yeah. So, and then we're going to get up our reactor, too. So, let's go for this. Do we want to go for a glue gun early? I might just go for the sub. The sub's good in this spot right here. Let's do that. There we go. I don't think they'll rush us. We're going to go for our glue gunner up here. Let's do that. Let's sell you. And now we're going to wait for this monkey town here. They're still ecoing. That's fine. And we can just, we can micro a little bit if we need to defend stuff. If they do all out with region rainbows, it might be a little dangerous. But with the, uh, like, all out region camos, it could be a little dangerous. But we, we should be okay here. So we're going to eco now. And look at this. Now we got 8.6 eco per pink balloon here, per pink send. So we should catch up to them in eco, even though they've been ecoing and stuff. So let, we should get, like, a mad eco. I'm talking, like, 10,000 eco or something. Um, and as we continue sending here, we're going to get a nice money pool here so we can buy stuff if needed. They stopped ecoing here. Are they getting up defense? They got two reactors, all right. And we're both just chilling right now. So this is where it goes late game here. We're both going to eco until, like, what, round 30? And, yeah. But we do need the money because first strike is very expensive. Glue gunner we're going to max out on. Um, village is also expensive, though. Like, for the land towers here, we could actually go for village beacon if we really want to be secure. Their glue gunner spot isn't that good, honestly. Hmm, okay. That's all right. This guy just saved up a bunch of money to go for glue gunners, which is fine and all, but, like, I don't know. Like, why did they go for that defense when I don't have it myself? Like, if they... Okay, all right, this is going to be a little complicated to explain. Maybe this will be bad, but... If they see I have a weakness in my defense, they should rush me. But if, they, if they're getting up these glue gunners because they think it's necessary, then... I don't know if the fact that I don't have the same thing is should demonstrate that it is not necessary. Like, right now, I would defend. I'd be fine. We have 20,000 extra. We could first strike a rush if we need to, you know? They sent a bunch of camo ceramics. Actually, camo ceramics would be kind of... Nah. They got their glue gun in the back there. That would probably defend. So, we're just chilling right now. We're just full sending this eco. We definitely have higher eco than them because they weren't ecoing around round 14. And we, we have the village up. They still don't have it up right now. I'd say they have like, you know, 3,500, 4,000, you know? Like, we're going to get a huge money lead on this guy. Okay, to be honest, there is probably one way we lose an accident here. So I'm going to, I don't know. I, I want to get this up as late as possible, but let's just do it right now. So we're going to go for a bunch of glue gunners down here. Because the only way we lose is by goofing, by like, we lose to the natural boons. Like the natural ceramics on accident, something happens and it's really bad. So let's go for this. We'll go for you. That'll defend. We're going to go for this up here. And we're going to set this one on strong here. To make sure it targets ZOMGs over balloons, I guess. Do that. I'm gonna go for a nice village right here go for that and that'll give us enough time to, to react to stuff but that should glue everything and that should defend everything except for bfp bfp we just first strike easy defend and it'll delay their eco and stuff so they got more defensive stuff but our eco is still higher even though we took a break right there to get up defense we are set until at least maybe in round 27 we can defend round 27 there are moabs um but the glue gunner should might be able to defend so we'll see so so Kat stopped ecoing here, which is like, I don't know if they're getting up defense or something or they're planning on rushing, but either way, I think that's going to be their downfall here, all right? We got tons of money here. Yeah, if you don't see your opponent getting up defense and they're just saving money, it just, it makes me feel like they're going to, they, they might be rushing you, you know? I don't see any change in the defense right now, right? So they might be planning on rushing us here. Now, sometimes when you pop a ZMG, there can be a bunch of ceramics underneath. So maybe we should go for a few precautionary glue gunners here, but either way, I think we're chilling. They're just chilling. Well, let's go for okay. Let's go for ten thousand. Ten thousand eco in round twenty three. Come on, like that's crazy. My goodness, the village is a really helpful buff here. You know, I'll just keep ecoing honestly. Like we'll be fine against the rest. If they rush me, I'll get up a few glue gunners in advance. They're just chilling. Maybe they're maybe they're going to the bathroom during the game or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like bothers me and stuff. Cause they're not they're not about to rush us. First strike is still super powerful. Even round thirty two, it's super powerful. Um, what do we want to wait to? We could wait till round. 30 we could do around 32 we could wait till around 34 we have a lot higher eco than i would normally expect a lot higher money count so i don't know oh yo cat finally got up a sub oh my gosh they're they're alive there they go man oh you know what cat might be doing they might be doing like a like a challenge where like every two minutes i have to stop playing or something you know you know what i did back in the day when i had like literally like 10 subs i did a challenge where i can only do stuff every other minute so what i do is like for the first minute of the game i would do my play normally then for the next minute i couldn't touch my screen at all i just have to sit there with what we were on 
And that was a really crazy challenge, man. Maybe we should do that again. I had like some good ideas back in the day, you know? Ah, oh, my gosh. It was a hard challenge though, cause like round 13, you have to prepare for round 13 on like round eight and you couldn't like touch anything. So I'd have to get up like a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of defense in advance. So that was tough. They're going for more first strikes and stuff, but look, look at our money. Like even though their defense is better right now. Okay, we're actually gonna stop cause it's getting a little close here. We're gonna do this and we're gonna catch, we're gonna catch up. We're gonna do you, you, and we're gonna go for glue gunners in a second here. So that'll defend nicely. And we want glue gunners all over the place. Just, just to pop whatever. So I'm gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna be pretty like, yeah. We, we're gonna give it a little bit. We're gonna make it. We're gonna put a lot more than we probably should, and that's fine. Better more than too little. Too much than too little. Okay, do that. There we go. We are chilling. Round 31 is here. I don't think we rush in round 31. I don't know. The thing is, we can force their abilities out of the way. So, let's see. Dude, I guess we're gonna go for a call to arms here. That's gonna be really weird. The thing about the first strike is it's really expensive here. We do have a lot of money though, so I, I'm gonna take we're gonna take advantage of that. Um maybe go for another beacon here. Do this. We'll go for another beacon down here. In really weird spots. <laughs> Cause it will it will make these abilities come back a little bit faster if we do do that. And are we gonna micro at all? I don't know. I think we're gonna micro a little bit if we can. I'm also gonna go for another glue gunner up here. Oh, they're rushing. So I think I think we're okay right now. If I'm mistaken, not mistaken. Eh. It's forcing abilities out of the way, so I'm gonna rush him right now. Good rush. We'll do the same. So we can do this now. We can get this. Wow, we just creamed through that. So, but look at our abilities are gone now. Our abilities are gone, which is good that we have the sub and stuff. We have to micro here now. So let's tower boost this early. Do that. And now we're gonna micro. So their rushing earlier was a really good play here. We might have lost because of it. Hopefully we didn't though. We have a really good, we have a lot more money though. I think we might've defended this. No. Oh man, please don't lose. Please don't lose just cause I popped it faster. No, we lose cause we popped it faster. Yeek. GG. Wow. No, man. <laughs> All right. That's, um, man. I feel like that happens more. Like we, we pop it faster, but we still lose. That's annoying. We should have rushed earlier. I think the, the fact that they rushed earlier did make the difference. So I'm not that mad about that. So we should have rushed earlier. So GG right there. Our win streak goes to the end. And thank you guys so much for watching. It was a great day. And be sure to brush your teeth.